Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove the virus ntdetect.com and autorun.int file. Now this is not detect spelt with the same as uh, Windows operating system one, there's a one there. Okay, it's a common virus and uh, the virus type is normally win32 forward slash uh, PASEX uh, virus or the win32 forward slash psw.agent.ndp trojan. Now there may be other variants of it but this is the main, most common one. Okay, and we're going to remove that today in the command prompt manually. So, the first thing we need to do, as I said, is these types of files are normally created by this uh, in uh, this actual virus. It actually creates these types of files on your system, hidden files. Okay, we're going to be removing those. So, the first thing you want to be doing is from stopping this process that's running. Okay, so before we do that, let's go to my documents, tools, folder options and actually unhide the file system there so we can actually see what we're doing and we need to un unhide the actual operating system files okay so now that's done I want to actually go into my command prompt type cmd and open up my command prompt like so I also want to go into task manager so what you do, do is right click on taskbar there and actually go into task manager. The first thing you want to do is click on image name so you can get into chronological order. Come down to um, Explorer. Look for Explorer. I'm going to stop that process running so we can go in and delete our files. So end that process. You'll lose all your taskbar and everything else. Do not close this down. Leave it open. Now look for W script.exe. If it's not there, don't worry about it. But if it is, end the process, okay? But I haven't got it in there, so I'm not going to worry. Now leave this down in your imaginary bit down there. You can actually close this off. So what we need to do now is change directory cd space backslash, and that's going to take us to there. Clear screen. And now what we're going to do is tick dir and see if them file types in there. Now they're not in there, so we're going to use the attrib command to show these files. Now, as I said before, this attrib command I always get asked how what it is. It's actually just to show files. And uh, this is what you do if you get access denied and whatever. You use this uh, command. Okay, so the, the command we're looking for is to minus R, minus uh, S, and minus H. That's show, and that's hidden. And if you wanted to hide them, you change the minus with a plus. Okay, and now we need to do auto run dot influx. So and that unhides that. Okay. I also want to do if you use your cursor keys, you can actually just bring the command back up. So you just don't have to type it all out again. And I'm going to do nt uh, detect with the one in it. Dot com. Okay. Now if we check now dir, you should see those files. There they are. They were hidden, so now we're going to delete these files. So we need to go del, um, type auto run, like so, dot inf. Uh, and I'm going to try a little dot and a, a star there to do all of these files, okay? So, and these are the um, command that we're going to be doing. We're just going to make sure that's completely gone. And as you can see, it's deleted that file. Now use your cursor key again, bring that command up. Use your cursor key to come across. Okay, I'm just going to delete this name and actually do nt detect now, like so. Um, and it'll be that one. Make sure you get the one, okay? Don't make sure it's not nt.com, uh, otherwise ntdetect.com, otherwise it will delete the operating system file. Okay? push that and that file's gone, type dir, there you go, dir and it's all gone, the files are all gone, okay, now you can use it, this actual process in doing a lot of virus removals uh, manually, this is the best way to do it, and um, what we need to do now is change our directory to Windows System 32, so do cd Windows System32 to put us into that directory. There we go. And what we're looking for now is I'm going to try actually um, looking for the DIR. So, so, but I know there's a lot of files, so do a space forward slash p, and that puts.
lots of pause on the screen so we can actually come through and see if the files are there. I can't see those AVP files there, so they may be hidden. So what we'll try and do, I know these file types, but obviously write them down if you don't know what they are. So what we need to do is at trib again, space dash um, r dash s dash h, like so, avp o.exe. Okay, and then just use your cursor keys to okay, like so. And there they are, there's the viruses, that's them there. So we're going to actually remove these now. Okay, so it's, they were hidden. So I'm just going to clear screen so we can see what we're doing. And here we just do the try the Dell command straight away without all the switches if you wanted to. Um, you can try that one. And that's without the switches on the end. If you wanted to put the switches on, you can at the end. And if you did, it will be um, a zero dot DLL. And you, obviously, you obviously put the switches on at this stage, false, and so on. Like so, you don't always have to do it. Um, sometimes it's just easier just to do it, just to make sure. Now, that's to get rid of the DLL. Now, if you've got a DLL that won't let you delete and you need to delete the DLL first, you need to maybe unregister the DLL. Now to unregister a DLL, you would have to put this command in, okay? So if you're having trouble deleting DLLs, it, when it keeps coming back or it won't let you do it, you need to unregister it first to kill it, okay? And that would be um, something of this nature, .dll, and that would be the command, okay, that you need to use to unregister the DLL, okay? But I know this wasn't registered, so it, it was okay. So what we need to do now is type dir just to make sure those files have gone. And as you can see, the files have they've been deleted. So we can get out of here, and that's done. Just need to quickly uh, check the registry now. Now push Alt Tab on your keyboard to get to Task, man uh, task Manager. Go File New and then type Explorer in there and this will bring up your windows back up. Okay, next thing you want to do is go into RegEdit like so and in here you want to actually search for these files okay so avp0.exe make sure there's no remnants left inside the registry do a false search for these file types and what I suggest you do as, as I said is search for not those ones search for all these, I'll get it up in a second, there you go, so search for all these file types in the registry to make sure there's no remnants or any left in, in the actual registry at all, okay, always back up your registry before you do anything, just to make sure, okay, I can see there now, there is a remnant there, so we're going to get rid of that, okay, so also we want to do, um, .dll, just make sure, okay, that's finished, and I'll do quickly nt detect, okay, okay, that's gone, okay, so that's all cleaned up and that's all done, all we need to do now is put our, our folder options back to hide and to hide our protected operating system files and then click apply and okay and we're good to go. Okay, so once you've done that, I would scan my system with uh, Malwarebytes and Super Anti Spyware after that, just to make sure everything's all gone, and you should be all up, back up and running, okay? Now these viruses have come by USB sticks and uh, CDs from your friends, they come around, plug them in, and they all run and they infect your PC, so that's the method to get rid of most or all types of viruses manually. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk, hope this has been some use to you. If it is, subscribe to my channel, and uh, got any questions, leave a comment and I'll get my, do my best to answer them for you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.